Sumali. The grammar of Sumali is meaning that in other words, in summary, in short. In Japanese, when you use the grammar of Sumali, that means you should begin by some clause. After that, followed by Sumali, and the end followed by alternative explanation. And it had the meaning that in other words, or in summary, or in short. That means you have something really long and it's not easy to understand. And you should explain in a short way. In a case like this, in Japanese, they use the grammar of simile to help explain in a short way. So to make more understand about how to use the grammar of Sumali, let's go to see some example together. In here our example they say Kale wa Sumali Dobutsu no Isha this Kale wa Sumali Dobutsu no Isha this which means that he is a veterinarian. In other words, he's an animal doctor. He's a veterinarian. In other words, he's an animal doctor. Or you can say he is a veterinarian. In the short way to say, in short, or summary, he's an animal doctor. So what is about the grammar in this sentence? Let's go to see together. In here we have Kalewa Jui is the cross. And after that we also have Dobutsu no Isha this Dobutsu no Isha this means alternative explanation. That means if you just say kale wa jui, that means somebody don't understand what do you mean or what is the jui mean. So to explain more to understand about jui, you can use simali. And after simali, you should put the another way to explain the jui meaning. As you see here, after simali, they say dobutsu no isha this. That means you will understand. They say the easy word to understand. And it had a meaning that he is a veterinarian. In other words, he is an animal doctor. The next, we have the example like this. Simali, uchi no kako no seito da to yukoto. Simali, uchi no kakko no seito da toikoto which means that you mean you are a student at my school you mean you are a student at my school what is about the grammar in this in this we have uchi no kakko no seito da toikoto it means it's an alternative explanation if you see here, we don't have the cross because they cut out from the some conversation right in this sentence. So when you are uh, to explain more to understand, you just use simile. And after the simile, you should uh, explain in another way, which is not the same way. And to make and uh, more understand for the person you are talking with. So in this sentence, it had a mean meaning that you means you are a student at my school. The next we are going to learn about uh, this example. Beerus, Beerus san wa keitai mo pasukon mo motte imasen. Tsumari, meiru de renaku wa dekimasen. Beerus san wa Kei tai mo, pasokon mo, 
持っていません。つまり、メールで連絡はできません。Which means that Bill does not have a cell phone or computer. In another words, we cannot contact him by email. Bill does not have a cell phone or computer. In another words, we cannot contact him by email. So, as you see here, the first, they explain something about like, Or they, after that, they use the simile to explain in another way. That is not the same way. To make more understand, they say, Simile, mailu de tenaku wa dekimasen. Something like this. If you don't have cell phone or you don't have a computer, so in the case that you cannot contact by, or you cannot uh, send email, or another cannot send email to you. The next example is say, Kale wa kyo kara ishukan go, tsumari, juni katsu toka ni kaite kuru. 彼は今日から一週間後、つまり12月10日に帰ってくれ、帰ってくる。Which means that he will be back on a week from today, that is on December 10. He will be back a week from today, it is on December 10. He just said, 彼は今日から一週間後。That means he will be back a week from today. He just said like this. Maybe another body don't understand. So you can say the date to tell what day. If you say the date, they will understand when. So in this example, after the summary, they say about the date. As you see here, 12月10日に帰ってくる。Thank you very much for watching my video clip and please help me subscribe my channel if you haven't. I hope to see you about learning Japanese in the next time. Arigatou gozaimashita.